Hey, what's up? My name is Matt Carlson, and I'm a professional video creator based out of Indianapolis, Indiana. I've been using Final Cut Pro 10 since it was released in 2011. Back then, most people bashed the software since it was new and not as powerful at that time as the beloved Final Cut 7. But after more than a decade of the editing software growing and being fine-tuned, Final Cut Pro 10 is now one of the most powerful video editing softwares on the market. In my opinion, it was easy to learn and is very intuitive and quick. The library of plugins, both internal and external, has been ever growing. And in this video, I wanted to talk about three specifically that saved me on paid client video projects. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies and purchased the plugins with my own money. The first plugin that I use all the time is by fcpeffects.com and it's called Quick and Easy Ken Burns. Final Cut Pro 10 has a built-in Ken Burns style effect, but it's super clunky and difficult to fine tune. The Quick and Easy Ken Burns plugin allows you to add Ken Burns style effects, pan, tilt, zoom and rotate to your clips quickly and easily. There are over 30 presets for editing faster and creating the exact move you want in a matter of seconds. There's no keyframing required and you have detailed control over how smoothly the movements start and end, as well as the delay and rotation. This plugin can be used with photos, videos, and even titles. The second plugin, which every video editor should have and has probably heard of, is called Neat Video. This is the best noise reduction software for video that I have ever used. Now I shoot Sony mirrorless, which has the best low light in the game for video, but there have been certain circumstances where I had to film an event in basically pitch black darkness and couldn't use my own lights and as a result, I had to crank up the ISO to get a usable image. Knowing you have neat video in your toolkit, it will give you the confidence that you can clean up any noisy footage within reason. It's almost magic the way it works so well. It is a highly automated and user-friendly plugin that can be applied in only a few clicks. Improving video quality while preserving the beauty detail and clarity of the original footage. In many cases, rescuing clips that would otherwise be unusable. The third plugin that has salvaged my video footage in the past is by Digital Anarchy, and it's called Flickr Free. I film a lot of events where cheap LED lights are used by either a DJ or the event space, and this results in a horrible flicker effect in your video footage which is present no matter how much you change your shutter speed around, which can sometimes help alleviate flicker. In these cases, Flicker Free is a powerful and simple way to remove flicker from your video. They offer presets for different types of footage, making it easy to eliminate flicker caused by out of sync cameras, time lapses, or slow motion video. Flickr Free uses optical flow algorithms, which is used for retiming footage, to detect moving objects, even in the presence of camera motion. For shots with a moving camera or a lot of movement in the video, these integrated motion estimation algorithms are highly effective for repairing poor quality video or footage that was previously unfixable. The links for these plugins will be in the description below. For neat video noise reduction and flicker free, you will need a somewhat up-to-date computer system as these two plugins are pretty taxing on your system. I will say these plugins have been getting much faster in processing within the past few updates. These are three plugins I've used on many projects and I can personally vouch for them when it comes to video editing. I'm going to be creating a lot more YouTube videos, so subscribe if you're interested in learning more about video and photo. Thanks for watching.